one. Barbara Walters had a stroke a year and a half ago. The 56-year-old from Deal suffers from hemispatial neglect, a condition triggered by the stroke, which means she has difficulty focusing her eyes to the left. Doctors at the Kent and Canterbury Hospital are using small electric currents to stimulate the part of the brain which was damaged. You do get very depressed, very low, because you feel that you had everything and now you've lost it. So, Barbara, how has this new procedure actually helped you? Well, I seem to look to my left more now than I did. I don't know if it simulated my brain to tell me to look left, but I do look left where before I just ignored it completely. A patient who suffers from this type of perception problem would only focus on one side of this clock. So, although it's showing that it's 10 past 10, they would perceive it to be two o'clock. Hemispatial neglect occurs after a stroke or serious head injury. It affects the parietal lobe on the right side of the brain. This causes the sufferer to ignore objects to the left of their vision. We believe that the future of rehabilitation will involve uh, various kinds of innovative technological intervention. Now, real life cutting edge science is coming through various research to actually probe the real injury that has happened to the brain. These images copied by stroke patients clearly show how they're not aware of the left side of the picture. It means they may, for example, just shave one side of their face or only eat food on one side of their plate. The main target facing us now really is to test lots and lots of patients and demonstrate the effects that we've we've shown in people like Barbara, are widespread. The Kent and Canterbury is the only hospital in the country using this technique on stroke patients. If successful, it could be rolled out nationwide. Tom Savides for Meridian Tonight.